When the United States dropped the first atomic bomb on Japan, everything changed. A few years later, Russia developed atomic weapons of its own, and in the Cold War that followed, the world lived in fear of nuclear conflict. When you hear the attack warning, you and your family must take cover at once. Russia and the United States were eventually compelled to draft a set of rules to avoid catastrophe. But President Trump has announced he wants to pull out of a key agreement, the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. But Russia has not, unfortunately, honored the agreement, so we're going to terminate the agreement, we're going to pull out. But do we really need nuclear treaties? And should we be scared of a nuclear war? So first of all, what did the INF Treaty do? Signed in 1987, it didn't just cut the numbers of missiles that could be deployed, it actually banned a whole category of weapons. ground launch missiles with ranges of between 500 and 5,500 kilometers. Washington says that Russia has developed a new missile, a version of the Iskander, with a range in excess of 500 kilometers, which is in breach of the treaty. Moscow denies that it's broken the treaty, but the US and its NATO allies are standing firm. So what's going on? Well, Russia and America have a long history of nuclear tensions. The Soviet Union had insisted that it was sending only defensive weapons to Cuba. But President Trump's concerns about the INF Treaty aren't just about Russia alone. China isn't part of the INF Treaty and has deployed large numbers of these weapons. America and its regional allies, Japan and South Korea, feel at a disadvantage. If America is out of the treaty, it can deploy and develop new intermediate range ground launch systems of its own. So what does this mean? There are fears that the whole system of arms control could unravel. Another key agreement, the New START Treaty, which limits long-range nuclear weapons, expires in 2021. Moscow and Washington could agree to extend this, but if mistrust grows between them and this falls apart too, then, for the first time since 1972, the long-range strategic arsenals of Russia and the United States will no longer be constrained by any arms control agreement. <laughs>